Hi guys, if you are viewing my channel first time, please subscribe to my channel for more updates on embedded systems. Today we are mainly discussing about on features of 8051 microcontroller. It is 8-bit microcontroller. Why we are calling it as 8-bit microcontroller? It will perform the arithmetic and logical operations with 8-bit. That's why we are calling it as 8-bit microcontroller. It has on-chip 4 kilobytes of read-only memory or program memory. It is mainly used for our application program storing. It has 128 bytes of on-chip RAM, random access memory or data memory, mainly used to store our uh, temporary data. 16 memory locations of data memory or bit or byte addressable. Okay, out of this 128 bytes, 16 bytes uh, memory locations are bit or byte uh, accessible. Okay, uh, we can access bitwise as well as bytewise also by using this uh, feature. The data and program memory can extend up to 64 kilobytes. Okay, we can connect uh, external memory, either uh, program memory or data memory. The RAM or ROM you can connect externally up to 64 kilobytes of memory to our microcontroller. Okay, it has four uh, parallel I/O ports: port 0, port 1, port 2, port 3. Each port is 8-bit directional I/O port. Okay, it can we can use input or output. Each port is bit or byte addressable. We can access uh, each uh, pin wise as well as complete port wise. Okay, this is uh, also one of the feature. It has 16 bit multi mode programmable timer or counter. Okay, here we have two 16 bit timers that we can use for the mainly timing or counting applications. It has multi mode high speed programmable full duplex serial port. It has only the one serial port. Mainly it is used for our serial communication between the devices. It has five hardware interrupts, three internal interrupts, nothing but three software interrupt and two external interrupts. Okay, timer zero, timer one, TA or RI, transmit interrupt or receive interrupt. Okay, these three are uh, internal interrupts or software interrupts. Interrupt zero and interrupt one are external interrupts, hardware interrupts. Okay, these are mainly five interrupts. These are also, this is also one of the future. If I want to do any service upon a interrupt, then we can use these fine interrupts. It has on-chip power saving circuit operated in two modes. Okay, it is also one of the circuitry is available, so we can switch between the two modes, ideal mode or power down mode. Okay, these two are power saving modes. If I want to reduce the power consumption from 5 volts to less than 5 volts, so that we can switch to either of these two modes. Okay, here. We will see the just relationship between the 8051, 8052, 8031. Okay, as we discussed already with 8051, it is 4 KB of our program memory and 128 bytes of random access memory or data memory, two timers and uh, four I/O ports uh, and each port having eight eight pins. That's why we have 32 pins and one serial port and five interrupts. And uh, already we discussed uh, uh, regarding the 8051 with respect to 8052 only the memory change here 4 KB to 8 KB we have it is extended to double and also here 128 bytes of uh, random access memory here 256 bytes of random access memory here two timers here one more timer is additional this is also one of the future and here uh, one more additional here two interrupts are ad uh, added here in case of 8052 here we have one extra timer we have one more option with extra interrupt timer to interrupt and also one external interrupt that's why here interrupt 2 okay here in case of 8031 or 8051 here we have three software interrupts and two hardware interrupts in case of 8052 we have the four software interrupts three hardware interrupts totally seven interrupts you know in case of our 8052 okay this is the main difference between 8051 and 52 in case of 80 difference between the 8031 and 51 only the uh, this is a program less uh, controller okay only this is a, only the change okay this is a it is a zero rom memory okay it has only the zero rom memory if i want to program our uh, to this microcontroller we need to connect uh, external memory up to 64 kilobytes of memory we can connect externally if i want to connect external memory we need two IO ports. We need 16 IO pins to connect our uh, external memory. Okay, that's why uh, mainly we can go for uh, 8051 or 52 to get uh, more IO ports. Okay, thank you, friends. Thank you for watching.